Hey, what's going on? This is Nate with Tiny Hilltop. I'm back. It's not that easy to get rid of me. What happened was my camera just broke. Um, so I sent it into repair and it was just a whole thing. And But now I have a camera and I'm back. Should get going again here. Thanks for anyone, thanks to everyone that reached out and just made sure I was okay, but it was just my camera. Um, and I kind of just went full biodome mode and didn't talk to any humans except for the woodchuck. Um, and I took a break from, from YouTube, but I'm gonna be catching up to all your, everyone's channels. I'm excited to catch up on what everyone has going on. Real quick before I start the tour, I decided I'm not gonna call, uh, what I'm doing is not farming. Um, I also don't think it's market garden because I'm not taking anything to the market. So what I'm gonna do is call, I'm gonna call my little area a micro farm. I, don't, I also don't think it's really a homestead because since I'm gonna be donating, th things are going off premise. I guess, I mean, I guess it could be a homestead. I don't know. I'm just gonna call it a micro farm because I think it's a, a microcosm of a farm. Two months back, beginning of May, I wanted to do a before tour, um, but I forgot to record a lot when I was doing it. So the, the, the footage was just sparsed out. I couldn't get a video out of it. So what I'm gonna do today is, is give a tour of everything I've gotten done in the last two months. Figured it'd be a good way to get back into it. And I'm gonna splice some of that old footage in just to see the change. Start with the hoop house. Um, tomatoes and the cucumbers are killing it. I need to get them trellised. I've ordered some some rope to trellis them and I need to get the purlins up. Um, I've been waiting to get my camera to do the purlins because I want to document the, the footage of the greenhouse. But that's first on my list because I want to get those tomatoes up off the ground. Some of them are starting to fall over. But they're rocking out. Also, I found a finally found a, a local source of wood chips. So I've been slowly chipping everything. I've been going back and chipping what I chipped prior. I was a little stingy on the chips before because I just didn't know how much I'd have. But now that I have hopefully an endless supply at a very reasonable price, I'm gonna get a little more crazy and you know build it up a little higher. Next to my hoop house is the area I planted my trees last year. Most of them are doing pretty well. The Wolf River and the mulberry tree are, are doing really well. The other mulberry tree, um, the top part just didn't come back. So I'm gonna prune it and then I'm gonna tilt it and mistake it and then turn the main branch into the central leader. The two in the back um, just aren't doing very well. The one's completely dead above the grafting point. So I'm just gonna graft another tree onto that probably next year. The other one I haven't decided yet. Um, it's kind of in a shaded area from two large trees that eventually I'll take out. Possibly, I really don't wanna take any more trees out. But if it is the shade, that's, that's, um, that's a problem. And I don't like to take out trees, I never do, but I'm, I figure if I'm taking out an ash and replacing it with fruit trees, I'm getting more productivity out of the, the area. Yeah, but I, haven't, I don't know if that's what's happening though because it's closest to where I had the fence down and I think that while it was down, some deer might have eaten it because it's a lot shorter than I remember pruning it. And it's just, there's no, there's no leaves. And I know the chickens hung out there too. So I'm sure the chickens, you know, ate a little bit of it as well. So I'm probably gonna let that grow a little bit. If it doesn't come, start coming in a month or two, I'll probably just move on from it. So this is the area with all my, my new trees for the year. They're doing really well, I'm pleased with them. Since I had to give away the chickens, I used the logs, I was gonna build the arbor and built a, a windbreak for the peace tree and then I mulched it really heavily. I wanted that peace tree to do well. Um, but since I'm gonna have a bunch of cedar, because I'm not building that coop, I'm gonna use that cedar to build the arbor. I figured it'd just be easier and I could use those logs elsewhere. The greenhouse I'm gonna do a little bit differently. Um, as you can see, I used to have the chickens in it. Now it's, I built some shelves and I'm just gonna start propagating blueberries in there. This other row of blueberries I have, there's a couple that aren't doing well. I bought five blueberry bushes from a, a certain place last year and I have two left and they're just not doing well. So I'm not gonna buy blueberry bushes from them again, but I'm gonna try to propagate the live parts from the bush and see what happens. I also have a branch that broke on one of the better um, blueberry bushes I have so I'm just gonna try to propagate that and see if I can get a couple bushes out of it I think I should get about four or five cuttings from the branch so I'm hoping to take and that, that bush will live on that branch will live on next to my greenhouse um, I have finally completed my 10 40 foot rows 
Um, excited with where they're at. All this is going to be going to donation shortly. Um, been talking to them, need to find a day for them to come out. So I, my kill is ready. Um, the char is pretty ready. These carrots probably have another week and a half. Um, beets probably have, the beets probably have another week, week and a half. Lettuce is all ready. But overall, I'm pleased with how the rows turned out. I, just need, I bought a cedar actually. So after I harvest this, I'm gonna seed this whole area and get it going. Over here, um, this is some, some romaine, some red and green romaine. That's probably, I mean, that's got a few weeks. I've been eating off it like a little rabbit. Radishes, another row of carrots, cabbage is killing it, broccoli, and I put some more tomato plants back here. So next to all these beds, I have my hoogle. I didn't really have huge plans for the hoogle this year because I still want the, the wood inside to rot further. But even if I did, um, it's just become an overgrown mess because I have a huge chip pile of sticks I need to chip and I don't use a chipper my pops does so I'm just waiting on him but it's not a huge priority right now I do have a lot of strawberries started so I'm gonna just plant the strawberries and let the strawberries take over the hoogle for ground cover next to my hoogle my wood chip pile I'm excited I think I finally found a source for some consistent local wood chips so I can start mulching the way I want to last year I was a little stingy Hopefully I can get just crazy with it moving forward. The next stop on the tour is at the bottom of the hill. I'm shaping these beds up. Um, originally I was going to do them all kind of like how I did up top. But I think what I'm going to do now is about half of them like that. And then I'm going to just chip the rest of the area and back to Eden style. The reason for that is, is just cost um, now that I have uh, a reliable source of a lot of wood chips it's just it's more cost effective for me to chip things than it is to, to compost them all I did cheat down here um, I have the tarped area I moved the tarps down here and I tarped it all I don't know if I have any film of that I don't think I do and it worked um, I just don't have the time to wait to tarp more areas so I tilled I just tilled where I shaped the beds where I'm gonna chip I'm just gonna use paper and then chip over top of it I just I didn't want to wait. Um, I already have a very short season, just you know, living in the north, and then with the late blizzard we got in April, this year is even shorter. So I I just don't have time. Other years the weather won't bother me as much because I'll have everything already, the infrastructure already built. But that's just where I'm at. Had to cheat. Such is life. Also, I dragged the logs down here with my cart. I got my cart up and running. Haven't mentioned that yet. I'm excited with the batteries. I've had them. For a little over two weeks, I've, I've been running them pretty much every day, you know, lugging wood chips and compost and dragging logs, and I haven't had to charge them yet. And I've, you know, I've driven it around a little bit around the property, and so I'm excited. Um, the last batteries I had only got about 10 minutes of charge, so these ones I'm, I'm well, I'm obviously well past that. I'm probably closer to like eight hours of drive time on them now without having to charge, which is cool. Also, I learned how to rig up a series, so if I ever get solar. I'll feel more comfortable doing that. But anyway, I dragged the, the logs down here and I wanna make raised beds out of them. And then I wanna make mini hoop houses on them so I can grow sweet potatoes on them. I'm gonna get some varieties that um, grow smaller tubers because we don't have you know the long growing season, but next year I wanna grow sweet potatoes. I like sweet potatoes. I eat a lot of sweet potatoes. So I want to grow a lot and cure them um, so I can have them throughout the year. So anyway, I got those logs on here. It's one of the projects I'm working on. Just want to get some raised beds built out of them and figure out a way to make little hoop houses on top. But that concludes the tour. Thanks for hanging out. Um, thanks for being patient over the last month while I worked out the camera situation. Thanks to everyone who messaged me. It was cool. Um, sorry, I didn't. I should have put a, a status out on my Facebook or Instagram uh, explaining where I was at. I'm just I'm not good at that stuff. I, I went full biodome and just sat around by myself also if you have any woodchuck names um throw them in the bottom the person with the most thumbs up on a name i'll just, i'll name that the woodchuck in like a week i know it's kind of probably counterintuitive to let the woodchuck into my garden but i figure i'm growing enough for everyone and he kept running into the fence he or she kept running into the fence and i'd see the fence move and i'd go over there and she would scatter or she he and i felt bad because you know like i don't know they can't feel good to run into a fence over and over so i opened it up for him, I bent the little thing and now he can come in and I keep my eye on him. 
or her and for the most part they stick to the weeds and if they get closer to the, the chawberry bush a couple times you know he got a little little curious to what the chawberry bush was and I just knocked on the window and he ran away but for the most part um, he's been pretty cool and just hanging out with me he's always laying on rocks when I'm out working so I, I figured you know he can eat some weeds and I throw some food scraps on his rock every once in a while but if you have a name, throw it in the comments. Um, I can't think of a good name, so I'll let you guys name them. But anyway, thanks for hanging out. I appreciate it. Um, should get back up and going now. I'm excited. I enjoy making videos. Um, and I didn't realize how much I enjoyed making the videos until I just didn't make them for a month. But I'm gonna get out of here for now because I keep smelling a skunk and it's getting thicker. I can taste it. And getting sprayed by one of those is not something I wanna do in this life or any other lives I lead, maybe, I don't know what happens. Take it easy, catch you later.